Saying no. The key to a balanced life. Many people struggle with finding balance in their life. This is often because they have trouble saying no. Perhaps you feel like you can't say no because it's work-related. However, just because you can do something doesn't mean you have to. It's okay to say no. In this presentation, we'll explain how to say no. Consequences of not saying no There are several consequences to not saying no. Let's take a moment to explore some of those. If you always say yes when you actually want to say no, then you're likely to be angry with the other person, though they've not really done anything wrong. If you always say yes, you're likely to develop feelings of frustration with yourself. If you always say yes, you end up taking on more than you can handle. This results in being overwhelmed and stressed. If you always say yes, you could end up feeling depressed and anxious. Reasons you struggle with saying no Throughout your life, you've been taught that you can't always say no. This leads to unhealthy beliefs about establishing boundaries which make it even harder to decline requests. Let's look at some of these reasons you feel like you can't say no. You believe it is rude or hostile. You feel like it goes against your people-pleasing tendencies. You're afraid of upsetting others. You feel you will be seen as nasty and selfish. You're afraid it will keep people from liking you. If any of these reasons sound like you, consider replacing these beliefs with the following. Declining a request is simply that. You are not rejecting the person. When you agree to a request, you're actually declining another one. Even if your opinions are different, you have the right to share them. Chances are the individual making the request will understand if you say no. If someone has the right to request something of you, you do have the right to decline. Now that we've looked at the consequences of not saying no and the reasons you may struggle with saying no, we will now explore six ways to say no. You'll need to consider the situation in request to determine which one is the best response. Direct no. If someone asks you to do something that you don't have time or the desire to do, it is perfectly acceptable to simply say, no, I can't do that. The goal here is to say no without apologizing or explaining yourself. Reflecting no. The reflecting no is when you acknowledge the request and the emotions behind it, but still respond with no. In this case, you would say something like, I realize you would like for me to do that, but I just can't. Reasoned no. The reasoned no is when you provide the person who's asking with a short, honest reason for declining their request. In this case, you would say something like, I can't do that because I have a lot on my plate right now. You do not have to give specific details. This lets them know that you gave consideration to their request, but you still have to decline due to other obligations. Rain check no. The rain check no is not a definite, permanent no. This allows you to decline the request at this time, still allowing you to say yes in the future. This one should only be used if you do want to meet their request at some point. In this case, you would say something like, I'm unable to do that today, but can we schedule it for another time? Inquisitive no. The inquisitive no is also not a definite, permanent no. This gives you the option of opening the request to see if there are alternatives. In this case, you would say something like, I can't take care of that today. Maybe there's someone else that can? Broken record no. The broken record no is when the person asking doesn't accept no. They just keep asking and you just keep repeating. This can be used in a variety of situations. Anytime you say no and they don't want to listen. In this case, you just repeat your answer in a variety of versions. Conclusion You might not realize it, but the key to finding a work-life balance is to learn how to say no. When you always say yes, you spread yourself too thin. 
Next time you're asked to do something, consider these six ways of saying no and use them as needed. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.